Welcome back guys, another episode of Diagnostic Dennis. Got another Chrysler product, no surprise there. Customer failed smog for a 456 and a 457 EVAP leak. And it's a 2011 Jeep Liberty 3.7. First thing I did is went into data just to see what kind of system it is and it's the ESIM switch style, not the NVLD natural vacuum leak detection pump. This is the ESIM switch. This is a lot easier to test. Very simple system, so let's get to it. Just wanna verify the codes real quick. So yeah. Got a 457 EVAP system, loose fuel cap. And I mentioned it before in the other video. Sometimes you get that message right there, gas cap. So we got the codes. Got everything, know the system. So first thing I'm gonna do on any EVAP system is go check that purge valve because it's the easiest test of them all. You just pop off the the canister side hose, leave the manifold side hose, and then you disconnect the electrical connector so there's no way of the computer commanding that valve open. And then you just turn the car on and if manifold vacuum goes to the valve and seals you're done but if it passes through the valve and you have manifold vacuum on the canister side with no control boom you have an open leaking purge valve so we'll go test that first so same thing as the other Lexus the evil line comes out here for the canister goes right there to the bottom of the purge valve and then here's the manifold vacuum to the valve so vacuum gauge in the other side. And it's electrically disconnected, obviously. So start the car. Boom. Zero vacuum passing through the valve. Purge valve is good. No, no vacuum. You'd hear it. Well. You hear it a little like this. You hear that? And if I put my vacuum gauge on there. So that's what I'm looking for if I see a leaking purge valve. One thing I could say is this connector for the canister side is very dirty and it's actually like locked up. The spring loaded. spring loaded part that you press to release is like stuck and there's dirt all inside of there very very hard to show next to impossible but very dirty in there well that was a clue of this being dirty that there's a leak of some sort and I just screwed up I was going to disconnect this guy to uh, blow it out so there's no dirt in the system to make the valve bad. Guess what? There it is. So this canister hose. Let's see it. Motion she blows. Firewall. Canister to purge valve line. Very common. Not very common to get this bad though. But they usually split. This one's super brittle. So easy switch open. Got my little hose on there. Hose, vacuum nickel to my vacuum pump. So let's give it some vacuum. Close the valve. And it might not work. I'm, this is a test. The NVLD did close from up here, giving a vacuum like this. But the ECM is napped. Either I have a big leak, or it's not going to uh, close because the ECM valve is open. It's a naturally open valve. Vent valves are naturally open and they'll close when commanded, but this one doesn't have a solenoid. It's just a switch. So 
so there's no way of commanding it closed. So normally what I do, and I'm gonna have to do it right now anyway, to verify the repair, just to make sure that this is the only problem, is uh, I check the purge valve, then if that's good, then I seal this up, and then I just go straight down, lift it up in the air, go straight down there to the Eason valve, put a hose on it, and blow into it, and then I'll see the valve, uh, the switch close. So usually it's a bad switch, either it never closes or it's a bad looking waveform on the closing. The hose, and I'll put the smoke checker in there and it's filling the entire system. There's the only valve that would be open was this and it's closed. So everything else is sealed and that's how you smoke test them. So we'll have to do that real quick. Is uh, check the ESM switch and then smoke test it real quick and make sure this is the only problem. So the spare tire area, here's your canister, nice and loose, hanging on by, where'd it go? One zip tie right there. That's literally all that's holding it in. This is cracked. So this is good that I'm verifying that's the only repair. Or verify the repair, that is the only fault. So yeah, two wire, here's the ESM valve, ESM switch valve, two wire switch, take off the vent that goes to the filter, that's all it is, is a vent, and I'm going to blow in this hose, and this PID should change from open to close, if not, we've got a bad switch. I saw a bunch of air coming out of here, so I wouldn't be surprised if there was another leak. But the valve is working. Open to close. The switch connector should be at three o'clock, which it is. And for this video, luckily I got one because they fail often. So you can see in there, the little plunger that moves. That's what closes the switch when you blow into it. I've had one where, like I said, the connector's supposed to be at three o'clock. I've had one where it's sideways for some reason. And these install kind of sideways and you turn it to lock it in. I don't know why, but it's like that, how I found it. And if it's like this, then that can't work. Ball is not dropping at all. Ball is stuck at the top. And we are leaking from the ESM switch very heavily something happened to the old canister for it to uh, break the cage essentially the mount that's broken right there clearly so something happened and then they replaced this canister from a junkyard Re smoke check and, and verify those repairs because this is not over. Wow, dude, this is the first time I'm seeing it. Stant. Locks out, and then you can turn it. Just turn it. Oh, see that? Oh, there you go. That's exactly how I found one before. Connector at 12 o'clock. It will not work like that. It's just, it's made to do that because some canisters are mounted like this, some are mounted like that. So if I do this, or if I mount like this, the connector's at three o'clock. So every car is different. Can't blame them for that, but you gotta make sure it's, uh, Correct, so there we go. I don't see any rubber here either. It's all plastic. Okay. I don't really have much of a choice here. So it sits like this. Locked in.
Ready for smoke. The old 89 Cutlass, Gutless Sierra. See what we got. So the new line is on. This is how I verify the repairs. Ball should drop. It should not leak right here. It's already leaking. So needs a canister. We tried. New valve back in the box. Clearly don't need it. We tried. But yeah, this thing wiggles. Yeah, it's gonna be very easy to show but it wiggles there must be a rubber seal that's going in here from whoever broke the goddamn cancer bracket and zip tied it so we got a new canister new esom on it i would assume it comes with it for that price and here's what we were missing that yellow seal right there So, this will seal now. Alright, so you Boom, you're done. And then you get the smoke machine. And he's gonna use this cone. He's gonna borrow mine. He's gonna order one today because it's snap on day. Redline Smoke Pro Total Tech. Everyone needs one, every shop needs one. There's the connection. Not bad. So yeah, you can use a NOCO, you bypass it, and uh, hold the information button, I, and then it turns it into power. So is it lit up? Yep, we're good. This ball should drop. Oh, you didn't even need to uh, use smoke, really. We just needed the air pressure. That's fine. This ball needs to drop to zero, and we're done. We are sealed. Ball drop like it's 1999, baby. This is a fix. Another good one, Jeremy. Thank you for finishing this one for me. That was a good one. So that's it. Another one. Jeremy and Diagnostic Dennis out.